Salut tout le monde! So I'm coming to you today with something just a little bit different. I've had some really good and some really bad diamond painting experiences over the last couple of years. Um, so I wanted to talk today about what the difference is between some good canvases and bad canvases. What are good drills versus bad drills? What are we looking for? What does quality in a diamond painting mean? So I'm going to go over some of the differences in these canvases you see here, as well as some of the drills that you see here. And I have what I think to be like a really good assembly of uh, the best to worst, basically. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is the canvas. I have right here one from Diamond Art Club, which is really considered the top of the top. Um, and it's poured glue. So is my bad example. Um, but it will show you why just simply having poured glue or the clear cover on top isn't enough to say that this is going to be a good quality. It's good glue, um, potentially, theoretically. But it doesn't mean that the painting or that the, the plotting is good. It doesn't mean that the quality of the symbols is good. So we'll show just, first of all, I'll show you a quick close up. Okay, so what we can see is that the symbols are clear. You can tell the numbers and letters apart. I don't have a light pad or anything underneath. So what you're seeing is, is what you would get while you're working on it. So that's considered great. That's the way it should be, right? If your kit is complete, you don't need anything extra. Like, say, a light pad. And I'll show you why you might need a light pad. So this is a terrible example of a diamond... Ugh, and we'll go over why it's terrible. <laughs> This is a terrible example of a diamond painting because the charting or the plotting of the, the squares and the drills is probably not good for this type of painting and for this size that it is, which is about 40 by 30 um, according to this, but I'm pretty sure that 40 by 30 is the canvas as a whole and not the drill area itself. So this is something I picked up on Amazon, and I wouldn't recommend it, of course. Uh, the image is supposed to be some sort of horizon, galaxy, reflected over shallow water type of thing. Like, it's just, it's not coming out in this painting. But what I want to show you are the symbols, because this is a dark painting. So I've zoomed us in a bit more, and hopefully um, we can get a better look. But this, so this will give you an idea of what's considered, you know, good and bad. Um, a and E here are really close um, in color. They're also not clear. I mean, they're really blurry, the letters. Um, some of them are almost hard to tell what they are. Let's see if I can find an eight. So yeah, so the eights are really mushed in there. The rate, eights should have been in a white font. Now the camera will always pick this up better than it really is, but if you're, like I said, if you have vision issues or color blindness, some of this stuff is going to be tough and it's going to be hard to work without that light pad. So that gives you an idea of what's, you know, what might trip you up while working. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a light pad underneath. Um, this is just something inexpensive I picked up on Amazon. And you'll see the difference. Suddenly it looks like there's an actual image there. And when we get in a bit closer, suddenly we can see all those E's and A's and those letters that were so close together. The 8 still looks pretty rough. So yeah, the, the 8... So the H and the S are still looking pretty rough. The E is kind of awful. You can see it up here as well. The E and the A. Um, some of the other colors down here as well. I mean, while I'm working on it, it's, it's hard to tell some of these letters. So 
So, I mean, as we get in there, if you're, if you're colorblind, if you have vision issues, that some of these letters will be hard to tell apart. They're blurry. They're, you know, the colors are too close together, which I get they have to be because that's what the shading is going to be like, right? But that's not clear. And these are dark colors. So why is this one in white text and this one in black, right? This should also be in white. We can't read that. So that's one of the things that when you're looking at a, at, um, a canvas, you will want to take a look at that before you start working on it. How difficult is this going to be for you to work? Now we saw Diamond Art Club very clear on the, without a can, uh, light pad, but we'll throw one on there just for the sake of it so that you can see that with this as well. I mean, if you need it, if you're working in a dark area or the backlight is causing glare, you know, that can help too. But it's, I mean, it's something that's clearly not necessary. I would say that's the main difference between say a good can, like a good canvas and a bad canvas. It's essentially the clarity of the symbols. How well do, can you see them visibly as well as how well do they compare and contrast the ones around it? If you are colorblind, will you be able to tell them apart? Um, and if you can't because of the color, then you definitely need that symbol, right? So I've zoomed this back in so we can take a look at the drills. And I've got three examples here. So these are the drills from a Diamond Art Club that I'm currently working on. So again, I would consider this top of the line some of the best quality. This is the drills from the the Galaxy Canvas I just showed you guys from Amazon. Um, that's no good. And these are from an absolute nightmare that I had. Uh, and you're going to find out why this was a complete nightmare once I show you. But we're going to save that for last. I'm going to keep you watching. So let's start with the best of the best. So dark colors are usually best, but I want you guys to be able to see them on camera. So I'm just going to choose this nice dark purple. Okay, so let's get intimate with some drills. Uh, so these are the Diamond Art Club. I've sprinkled um, a dark purple or darker purple. Um, black doesn't always show up great on camera. So I want you guys to be able to see the details. So what do you see? Essentially, you see round drills. Ignore the mixed in colors. Well, that's likely my fault while working. But what you're seeing essentially is faceted pieces of plastic, right? So you move them around, the light reflects. And what you're seeing here is good, solid colors. The drills, you know, aren't of slightly different shades. They're not strangely opaque or two colors blended together. The other thing you'll notice is that they're all almost perfectly round, right? If we're looking at them, they're making good circles, right? So we're looking everywhere, just sporadic little random spots. And what we're seeing is good round drills. Now, will there be garbage in there? Yes. Will there be bad drills in there? Yes. Like if I'm looking at the edge of this one, you can see it's kind of off. There's a slight little chunk missing there. So if I'm being super, super picky and with, with DAC and Diamond Art Club, I am. So this definitely I wouldn't use. But when we're looking at the majority of them, you're not stopping every two seconds going, Ugh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Right? It's all looking pretty good. So that's Diamond Art Club. Hey guys. So while editing the video, I realized it might actually be better to show you the drills in a picture format. That way I can zoom in a little closer and at the same time, you guys, um, it'll stay still on the screen. Now what you're seeing here are DAC drills. I busted out the black to show you and inadvertently discovered there is a minor defect in these drills. Um, if you look at each little red arrow, they're pointing to a notch. That means the drills are not a perfect circle. Somewhere along in their mold or the manufacturing process, there is a problem that's nicking all these drills. So 
I'm going to actually send this photo to Diamond Art Club. I understand that their customer service is really good and that they're quite receptive to feedback. So I think they're going to want to know this. And if anything, it just goes to show that even the pros, even the top qualities sometimes have off days. That's what we would consider, like I said, the best of the best, the good quality shiz. So these drills are from the Amazon one, that ugly purple and I don't know what it is one. So these I would say are mid-grade because as I have been working on it, I have noticed that I'm picking out quite a bit of trash. One of the first things you'll probably notice is how rough the back is, right? So the backs of the, the Diamond Art Club drills looked pretty good. Here, and they're pretty smooth, right? Here you can see how rough they are, how scratched up they look. Not a problem. That's not a huge deal. It's not going to prevent you from working. In fact, that texture will help adhere to the glue a bit more. Not a big deal. I don't think that will cause... Um, any issues. What would cause issues is, and we're seeing a lot of it, is stuff like this, where there's a little chunk missing. There's another one over here. So that means that there's like little imperfections probably in the mold or something, or the way it's being cut off. So that would concern me a little. The other thing you can probably notice is it just doesn't seem to have that clarity and smoothness that Diamond Art Club, um, the Diamond Art Club has. It's, it's a bit muted. I mean, the color is there, but it doesn't seem to have that same shine. It's almost more matte. Uh, you can see something else bad here. See how that has a little tag at the end? That means it's got a little bit sticking out of it. Um, let's see if we can yeah there's like imperfections like strange pieces like this uh, where when i'm working on it i'm i'm gonna dispose of that because it's not a perfect circle you're not gonna get that shine and that means you're gonna have gaps in between drills um see also some that have weird coloring on them um oh, and then there's stuff like this that's what i was looking for See how this one has basically a halo or border around it. That's no good. What's going to happen with something like that is that edge of that circle is going to push the drills around it farther apart than they should be. And then you'll get, see how they're not lined up right next to each other? So what happens with that is you get what we call popping. And I'll actually show you what that looks like in a moment because I did a whole canvas with garbage like that. Lord. Okay. So again, that gives you, you know, this is not terrible. You'd still be able to work with a lot of these drills, but I've, I've been getting stuff like that quite a bit. And that's, you know, again, these imperfections or nicks and notches on the side. It's, it, to me, it ruins the uniformity of the piece. It's, they should all be exactly the same, right? So these are an up close look at the Amazon drills. You can see that for the most part, they're actually pretty good. You still have the occasional um, garbage, like the, the circled one with the tags or excess on the edge. You've got the one with the arrow pointing to a divot or notch in the drill itself. The little red slash represents or mostly just wanted to show you that the facets aren't cut as smoothly as they are on Diamond Art Club. Um, this isn't black. This is actually a deep navy. I didn't have any black for this one, but I still think it kind of shows you that the shine or the clarity of the drills isn't quite the same. Um, what I might even do closer to the end of the video is compare all three side by side so you can get an idea. And now let's take a look at the worst of the worst. Let's see what nightmare drills look like. 
I know you pros probably immediately went right to this one. So I'm going to show you what a nightmare canvas or what nightmare drills will look like. So if we talk about the first thing we did last time, which was the backs of the drills, let's talk about how concave they are. That means that they're bending inwards. You can see that it is not flat. It's curved. It's curving like a bowl. And what does that mean? That means that this will not adhere to your canvas. The only thing that will adhere is the very edges of that drill because that's the only thing that's the same height. Everything else is deeper or recessed. It won't touch the canvas. So all of these drills, and you can see how many are in there. This was terrible. Now, I, I bought this on AliExpress. I will not tell you where, because there's no point, obviously. Um, there's a random drown drill in here. And, and I don't purchase off AliExpress anymore. I just don't do that. Um, and this was a year ago. So this is on me for not checking the contents when I bought it. This is why DPers are constantly telling you to check your drills, do your inventory. You do not want to come to your diamond painting a year later and find this garbage or this garbage. Not only does this have a hole, it's miscolored. What is that brown gunk in there? Now, odds are it's glue from, or rather, um, just ink or a different color from the machine. Um, you've got another bit here that's got like a hole in it. Um, but oh my god, the concave, the holes, the miscolored stuff in there. Um, these are bad drills. These are examples of stuff you don't want. I mean, there's not, they're not going to stay on your canvas. There's nothing you can do that will make these work. Short of, say, putting, you know, a little bit of glue in that concave area and trying to, just don't. That's not diamond painting. That's not a fun hobby. And now a bit of a close-up on the worst drills. It's pretty grody from here. So the biggest circle up top will show you the, the concaveness of the drill. You can see the way that it's shading in a drill manner, but it should be flat. The two other circles really just show you some jagged edges of the drills. Um, so you'll see that those, again, they're not smooth, so they're getting roughed up somewhere. The slash in this case is once again to show you the harshness of that faceting line. This was cut very sharp. It is not smooth. Um, I, I don't know what overall difference that makes, but it's just something that I have noticed while going through these drills. Um, these are disgusting and this was really sad. I mean, every time I flip, look at it, another one with two holes in it. So like I said, every time they, they go upside down, you can see how concave they are. And that's just, that's no good. So this was really awful. Now, why is this no good? I will show you what happens on a canvas when you use garbage drills. So lest you think that I'm incredibly biased and partial towards Diamond Art Club, I am. <coughs> Excuse me. I did want to show you the trash that I'm pulling out of my current piece. So this is the first one I've worked on. Now the difference between say the trash and really bad drills is that the trash is extremely obvious. Um, I mean you can see all the the excess plastic around the drills. You can see half or partial drills. Um, there's one that's incredibly scuffed scuffed up and has like a huge chunk at the end of it um this uh, oh and that little white partial one that's just like a mini drill so these are the types of things that are super obvious and that you're naturally going to be pulling out of your diamond painting and not using so this is fairly normal and again this i've done thousands and thousands and thousands of drills on this one okay i'm exaggerating about the thousands but the idea is you're still going to have a few that come out of it. It's just it shouldn't be the whole pack that looks like this. So. so this is the nightmare canvas with these nightmare drills.
Can you see the problem? <laughs> so we're seeing major gaps, right? Major, major gapping. Um, why? Because the, the drills are not the same size, right? They're popping like this right here. This is popping. This drill is coming up. And so is this one, and so is this one, and so is this one, and so it... <laughs> Why? Because the drills have edges to them, and some of them are smaller than others. I was able to, let's say, pick out something... Oh, see how easily that came off? I was able to pick out something like this and try to replace it with something smaller. And that's kind of what I was doing. And then I would go in, you know, trying to press it down, but what happens is... All you do is move the other one. So then you go to put that one down. And then it moves the other and the other and the other and the other. And the next, like, that's not worth it. That's not a fun hobby. And then you have stuff like that, too, where that three just popped out. Like, I, there are times where I was just doing, see, just doing that, and I picked it up. That is a no-no. These should be sticking to your canvas. This, sh look at this. Oh, that's crap, crap. So this canvas might have been good, maybe, but there's no way to know because, oh my God, you can see all the different levels. You can see. I mean, the image might have been absolutely gorgeous, and it is, but that's, that's not, <laughs> it's not worth it. And um, yeah, so this, these actually popped up or popped off uh, just from me handling it and now they're all over my dining room floor. So yeah, so that again shows you why we are so critical of the drills. Why do we spend so much time, um, you know, trying to get the good stuff, trying to look at each and every drill we get and make sure that the quality is good because you don't want to be stuck working on something like this that could have been pretty, could have been beautiful, but instead is both gapping and popping. Like what? <laughs> Hopefully this gives you an idea of what you're looking for when you're checking your drills. It's not just about the pretty colors and the sparkle. You do really want to check that they're going to work with your canvas and that they're not going to be part of the problem. The drills are key. Thanks for watching. À la prochaine.